When prospective members ask about and bring up questions about membership in POYU, remember that objections are opportunities to provide members with more information. Often, they help to further clarify customers' wants and needs. Successfully addressing objections can get your prospective members to change their mindset and it also strengthens your credibility. Understand that if a person was not interested in POYU, they would not even bother to come up with questions and objections. To be the best position to overcome an objection, choose a response that is best aligned with that type of objection. This speaks directly to the prospective member. It says, I understand and want to earn the opportunity to help you make the decision that is best for your business. Okay, so what type of objections will you face out in the marketplace? Well, every objection will fall into one of the following types. A general comment such as, well, this sounds interesting, but I don't understand it. Or an objection can be soft, such as, well, I tried something like this before in the past and it didn't work, but I like the idea. And finally, an objection can be firm, such as, I don't have any extra cash at all right now to try any other distribution channel or method of creating business. I'm not interested. Now, depending on the type of objection and the circumstance behind that objection, your response should be worded in a way that allows you to cover the five E's. The first is to elaborate, which is when you talk more about the features, advantages, and the benefits of POYU to its members. Secondly, you want to make sure you educate by matching their specific needs to other members within the network. Then it may be necessary to empathize with them so they understand that you know what their issues are. This is using the feel, felt, found method of saying something like, I understand how you feel. You know, I actually felt that way in the past, but I have found that, and this tends to be very effective. Then the next E is to ensure you understand what they are saying and where they are coming from. This involves paraphrasing and restating information in your discussion to be sure that you are tracking. And then finally, you have to ensure they understand this involves a simple recap of the whole POYU offer. Remember to end by letting them know that you want them to be a successful member in the POYU marketplace. Never forget that objections are a natural part of the sales cycle. People just want to be sure they're doing the right thing so they don't suffer from buyer's remorse or worse, look bad in front of their peers or colleagues. Objecting does not necessarily mean that the prospect is moving away from the sale. The irony is that many times objections are actually moving the prospect closer to the sale and they want to make sure all the bases are covered. As a sales professional, you want to get into the habit of doing a preemptive sales strike. This is where you bring up objections before your prospect can do it. This all lends to the pre-planning that you do before the meeting so you can figure out exactly what they might say and exactly what you are going to say in response. Or in the case of a preemptive sales strike, you want to be putting the objections front and center in your sales presentation. Then you help them justify that their decision to become a member in the POYU marketplace is the best thing they can do for their businesses and for themselves. Make sure you focus on them and the objections will decrease throughout the course of your presentation. It's harder for people to object when you talk in terms of their own interests and what's important to them.